Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will share to you about indefinite integral. Dear students, before we start our class today, let's see the learning outcomes of this chapter. In the end of this chapter, students will be able to find the general antiderivative of a given function. They also able to explain the terms a notation used for an indefinite integral. Students will be able to state the integration formula for several function and properties of indefinite integral. And at last, students will be able to use the formula and properties of the indefinite integral to solve the related problems. First of all, definition of antiderivative if fx is an antiderivative of fx on an interval i, then the most general antiderivative of fx is fx plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. Alright, theorem of antiderivative. A function f is called an antiderivative of a function f on a given interval i if f prime x equal to fx for all x in the interval. Before we proceed to indefinite integral, let's see some example of finding the general antiderivative. Example 1. Function f is equal to 3x to the power of 2. So, before we start the process, to integrate and find the antiderivative, first of all, we should remember the formula to find the antiderivative. This is the formula to find the antiderivatives. So, integral x to the power of n dx are equals to x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So, this is the important formula that we should not forget in our life. So, Let's proceed with the solution. So, when we integrate the 3x to the power of 2, we'll get the answer 3x to the power of 3 over 3 plus c. So, we can simplify this answer and get a final answer x to the power of 3 or x cubed plus c. Let's proceed to the next example. Example 2 shows that function f are equal to sin x. So, the antiderivative of sin x are negative cos x. So, the final answer is negative cos x plus c. Then, definition of indefinite integral. Okay. The set of all interrogative of f with respect to x is denoted by integral of fx dx equal to fx plus c where fx is the derivative of fx. In this slide, we can see some integration formula for several functions. So, integral k dx are equals to Integral k x to the power of 0 dx are equals to k x plus c. So, the next example is, the next formula is integral 1 over dx are equals to ln x plus c. And the next example is integral cos x dx are equals to sin x plus c. And integral sin x dx equals to negative cos x plus c. So, here we can see some examples of integration formula so we should remember all of this formula to master the indefinite integrals chapter properties of indefinite integral the first property is constant multiple rule 
we have the integral of a constant times a function f of u with respect to u is equal to the to the constant multiply the integral of function f of u with respect to u next we have the sum or difference rule in this case the integral of function f of u plus minus function g of u with respect to u is equal to the integral of function f of u with respect to u plus minus the integral of function g of u with respect to u lastly the linearity rule the integral of a times function f of u plus minus b times function g of u with respect to u is equal to a times the integral of function f of u with respect to u plus minus b times the integral of function g of u with respect to u now let's proceed to the question on how to integrate the question is integrate 2x cubed plus 7 over c sin x dx for the first step we use all the properties of indefinite integral which is constant multiple rule sum rule and linearity rule so we will put 2 outside the integral of x cubed and 7 over c outside the integral of sin x the next step to integrate x cubed apply the power rule with n equal to 3 and when we integrate sin x we will get negative cos x so after we finish calculate we will get x to the power of 4 over 2 minus 7 over 6 cos x plus c dear students we have provided some exercises on the indefinite integral chapter so you can try these exercises and master this topic so that's all for today thank you so much and goodbye